Hey everyone, Calista here with Avalili Permaculture and the Earth Skills Institute. Just wanted to make a little video today on, uh, you know, how I build soil and how I manage uh, mulch plants in my garden and particularly around my perennial beds. So right now I'm working in this bed here, which I was away for on one of my workshop tours for a few weeks and you can see the grass has come up pretty high here. So I'm just pulling the grass down and laying it on top um, as mulch and this tree here is also in need of some pruning so I've been clipping the branches off and um, uh, clipping them down into just smaller branches like these guys these little branches like this and I'm just laying them down on top so this is all gonna go on top of that bed over there too and uh, all of that is uh, i mean it looks a little messy right now but over the course of a few weeks it's going to dry out and all of that stuff is going to settle down on top and make a, a nice thick mulch layer that's going to help keep any more grass from coming up uh, as quickly and as you know over the course of a year or so this is all going to biodegrade and create beautiful rich soil for um, my perennial shrubs and things underneath here I've got some currants and some uh, gojis and some different uh, different uh, perennial plants underneath here uh, and also all of the leaves that come off of this Manitoba maple tree here also are used for mulch on this bed and I'm just going to show you what the soil kind of looks like underneath here so as this stuff as this stuff continues to build up and break down it makes a really beautiful like organic rich soil in here as you can see and that's exactly what all of these plants need in here so all this stuff is going to break down and make a really organic rich soil that uh, holds a lot of water and supports these perennial uh, shrubs and the trees that are here as well. So that's how I manage my mulch plants here. Um, so don't be afraid of grass. It's not, you know, the absolute enemy. It can kind of push some other plants out if you have some that are sensitive to competition. But if you've got some, you know, shrubs and some bigger perennials that are fairly well established, if you can keep that grass cropped. It's not um, the end all be all. It's a, a good nitrogen source uh, for your other plants if you're using it as mulch. So thanks for watching. If you have questions, please enter them in the comments below. And sometimes I use those questions to create more video content. Uh, if you find our videos helpful, please give us a subscribe. And you can also find us on our other social media platforms on Facebook and Instagram. Thanks for watching and happy gardening.